Hi, uh, Jennifer Warren here. And I'm going to offer sort of a backgrounder as sort of a prelude to an interview that I'm going to be doing with Michael Hopkins on Seeking Alpha on Thursday. And we'll probably be talking more about some of the investment implications of some of my learnings from the Richmond Fed conference that I attended last week. And it was on tech enabled disruption. And they also had some um, a couple of panels on the energy transition. And that is my space, energy and the transition. And so I'm trying to kind of you know toggle between those spaces. And I've done a couple other videos, but um, this one's a little more pointed and specific. And what I wanted to talk about was basically um, offering a, a few takeaways from the conference and just observations in general about what's going on in, in the macro economy. Um, one is that obviously post pandemic, we have this reset happening. And I've been talking about it before as it is reflected by the triple Q, which is the proxy for tech stocks and XLE, which is sort of the proxy for energy stocks. And there's other indexes and proxies, but just to keep it simple, I'll, I'll refer to those. Um, in the future. And then the other the other factor are interest rate increases. Um, you know, we're starting to see some of those lagged effects of those rate increases happening and time is revealing, you know, what's happening in the economy, you know, sort of on the micro level and within sectors. And we know that, you know, we talked about the fact that office buildings, commercial real estates, you know, starting to show some of the stresses. And some of that also has to do with how things are resetting post pandemic with remote work. Um, and obviously technology plays a role in that and enables a lot of remote work to happen for, especially for knowledge workers um, and those that rely on technology for their jobs that aren't sort of frontline workers. And, um, you know, I think that's part of what a lot of the um, excitement was last week when we um, when the market really went crazy um, with the NVIDIA um, stock really shooting up um, over AI. And and again, I was talking about how it's sort of like some some news that the you know, the market's sort of been looking for some good news um, and especially in tech tech stocks, given that there's been. So much of that industry, you know, having haircuts to their valuations and all that. And then the other um, factor is in energy is obviously <clears throat> Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And that has sort of reset some trade routes, uh, particularly with gas and natural gas. And as I've talked about in the past, you know, we have this changing global gas scene and we're starting to see... Um, you know, suppliers emerging differently, LNG coming more from the US to Europe, and also it's going to Asia. Um, and then Russia's oil is going to India more. And um, there's also been a, a little bit of um, some dissension in OPEC plus, where um, OPEC has been a little bit unhappy with, with some of Russia's um, activities given what's given the sanctions and the pricing issues um and then two other things i wanted to no to note that kind of play into all this macro equation are that supply chains are being reworked and we know that happened largely because of the pandemic but also because of geopolitics and in the united states there were three key pieces of legislation um the chips Act, it might have been called Act, I don't know, Bill, um, the Infrastructure Bill and the IRA, which is the Inflation Reduction Act. And I've talked about the IRA quite a bit since last November. And that was like 300 and just call it $370 billion devoted to um, sort of decarbonizing the energy sector more and, and sort of uh, incentives to um, decarbonize supply chains and energy production and um, incentivizing wind and solar and battery storage and all sorts of things, uh, EVs. Um, and so, and then the last thing I'll, I'll mention is 
you know, we had this sort of AI day and it's continued into days. It started, um, you know, really last Friday, Thursday, Friday, and, um, you know, right before Memorial weekend. And, and it kind of gave a new momentum to tech stocks. And there's an ETF that I will talk about with Michael um, on Thursday that has some various constituents that are, you know, sort of called, it's a semiconductor ETF, but NVIDIA is in that one as well. Um, and so really my themes are kind of reset, rebuild, regenerate. <clears throat> and obviously the regenerate part has to do more with, you know, the energy discussion that I'll go more into probably with Michael, but just to give you a little preview, um, I, I'll just show